Yo, what is up guys, this is your boy TMY, bringing you back to another video. So unfortunately, the Mad Mill 2 battles, the live stream I was taking the videos off, has for unfortunately been taken down. So I'm going to have to take a pause on that series I'm currently doing, I'm sorry guys. So yeah, the last one I did was the battle between Ashwin and Mr. Y. So unfortunately... We're just going to have to move on to something else. But for now, we're actually moving on to a tournament which I haven't actually seen yet. Which I'm a little bit ashamed of because this is supposedly quite a big tournament. This is the Online World Championships. So, <clears throat> I heard this was really sick. There are some names that I know now and I really like. And so, yeah, we're just going to go straight into this. We have got the first battle of it, which is Biscuit versus Ting. I'm going to be looking at each round, analysing... And saying who I think won. And obviously all of these guys are going to be insanely good. So without further ado, let's jump into this. Just making sure that we're all good to go. So we got two rounds, three minutes each. Biscuit versus Tink right here. Online World Beatbox Championships. We're looking. Hershey's ready. I'm ready. Judges are ready. Biscuit, mm -hmm. it's starting on you. Nice You've got three panel. minutes. I say the three. Y'all say the two and the one. Crowd in three. <laughs> Very quick start biscuit. Lovely harmonies. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Biscuit from the USA. I hope you enjoy my loop tracks. Oh, lovely. I can't really understand what it's saying, but still. This is fire. Sorry about that. Nice. He's so sick of mad. Ooh. Oh, that was sick. Time. Right, so I so when I was reacting to the Mad Mill battles, I was looking over and analyzing actually the way I was reacting and analyzing to them. And I thought I'm gonna make a system, right? Let's <clears throat> see if I stick to it. So I'm gonna think about the energy first. Uh, whether they're actually like when it's being an energetic routine because you can have energy in quite a mellow routine as well. That obviously was not a mellow routine. So if you're gonna talk about the energy and that, if you talk about the path it took, it was very slow, it was very nice, and then it built up and then it went that down. It's a very basic structure of two drops, one drop being better than the other, but it was fucking effective because it was sick as fuck. The um technically 
that was very good. He was had a very nice use of vocoder, very nice use of the effects. So if you look at the originality, I don't think the way he, he was using effects was very original. But if you think about it in the musical context of the routine, then yeah, because that's you can tell there's biscuit, and he did a fucking sick job, and yeah. I think that was really good. I think it was kind of contradictory saying he's going to do something that no one's ever done before because he's done stuff, things that people have done before with that kind of <laughs> drop. But regardless, that was sick. Let's see what Tink has got. Three. Oh, metronome. Cool works. <laughs> Very nice. It's a nice start. Let's see. Burning something up here. Nice. It's very interesting, though. So say, oh wait, what it stopped? Oh, is that just me or is that the is that the video or is it? Oh, yeah, it's back. I think that was the one. Like, I think that was like actually happened now. It sounds like it's going a little bit off pitch. Right, so energy wise, I think that was pr about on par with biscuits. I mean, the drops, like the structure of how the energy moved was on par with biscuits, but how high the energy was, biscuit one. But I couldn't really judge on energy unless, like, they're trying to go for energy. And I don't know if Tink was trying to go for an energetic routine or more of a musical one. So if you think about the musical side of this for a second, I think. The structure could have used some work. There are a lot of things that came out of nowhere, which you would not see in like a normal bit of music. Like you want to like, you do not feel the. That might be why the energy wasn't as high as biscuits. It's because I felt like the build that first drop came out of nowhere, and quite a few of the sounds did as well. So technically, he used very original. So he used like techniques people would use a lot but use them in a very original way like the way he used the vinyl flick on that delay to create different pitches was really really cool so yeah i am think pre preference i would give the first round to biscuit only because i prefer his music however tink is not far behind in that first round 
I just think Biscuit had that edge because he had more energy for one and you know it's Biscuit it's just got such a vibe to him that Tink doesn't really have but yeah let's see what Biscuit's second round is and see if Tink can come back oh bass <laughs> so I know you like these melodies Nice. Okay. I love that. Sounds like a proper drum kit, that. Yo, this is a shout out to Kenny Urban. Oh, what? When I get that feeling. <laughs> Little bit of pitch. Surprise from this kid. Yeah. Come on, girl. Hey, oh, that's good. So, hey, yo, Tink. so I think that you're about to lose, bro. Oh, bars. Yeah, it's a sexual healing baby. Ooh, it's a sexual healing. Oh, you're gonna need some, cause this beat just fucked you. Woo! Oh my god. It's a sexual healing. Oh my god. Jesus, big up Biscuit. That round was amazing. Probably the best round I've heard from Biscuit, yeah. I mean, I hear he has a really good round in the finals called Empathy, but I haven't heard it yet, so I'm looking forward to it. But that was insane. Like, if if this one hasn't like been talked about much and other ones are supposedly better than this one, then I think Biscuit's insane. <laughs> He's already insane from what I just heard here, but that was something else. So... First of all, all right, it started off a little bit off pitch, but I kind of made up w with it because his voice was great on the chorus. But if you just take away that from a second, the energy was just through the roof because he had the fucking flow and then f uh, making people move already and then dropped it so heavy with that flow, put them together and you got people dancing. And that's how you make a sick routine. That's all I can say really. Technically, it was average. However, putting that aside, it was still really sick. The way he used effects to create energy was brilliant. So yeah, musically, obviously, that was just amazing. <laughs> so yeah, Tink's going to have to come up with something very, very, very good to come back from that. But obviously, Biscuit wins this battle. So let's just see what Tink's got. Three. Metronome again. Yikes. Kind of doing the similar structure to the last round. Nice 
drums. He has got very clean drums, Tank. the energy right for that one. Perfect. his first round to be honest however this because the first drop kind of did come out nowhere again <clears throat> but the second drop was excellent like the way it built up like the, the way you harmonized with his voice and then not harmonized but you know made that melody and made it go up until the massive drop so the energy was definitely better than his last round however it is completely unmatched to what biscuits second round had to offer so while well, tink that was brilliant you would most likely beat me in a battle. I didn't have the edge to beat Biscuit in this. The monster himself. But yeah, let's see what the judges' results are. We got a unanimous decision. Make some noise. Give it up for Biscuit. Yeah, all right. Big up to you, Biscuit. That was a sick battle. Big up to Tink as well. If you're both watching this, big up to you guys. And thank you guys for watching. Again, I really apologize about the Mad Mill stuff that is literally out of my control. I probably could have recorded it earlier, but you know, <laughs> that's my bad. But yeah, when they come out, I will definitely come back to them. But yes, if you guys enjoyed my reactions and my analysis, please leave a like and subscribe. Leave a comment for stuff you want me to react to in the future. And yes, I will see you all in the next video.